The average show up rate for a webinar is between 40 and 50%. But what if you could get more? What if you could get more people signing up for your webinar and showing up for your webinar? What if there was an easy way to follow up and convert those who do show up? That is where a messenger bot and many chat can help. With high open rates and built-in reminders that are hard to miss, messenger bots make it incredibly easy for prospects to sign up to your webinars and more likely to show up to those same webinars. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a messenger bot to make signing up for webinar fast and super easy. I'm also going to show you a couple of key steps you can take to increase your chances of a higher rate of attendees actually showing up live. Yay! <laughs> for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using ManyChat Pro and Zoom webinar and a tool called Zapier. The first step is to set up your webinar. Let's head over to Zoom and I will show you how to do just that. Head on over to Zoom, go to My Webinars. You do have to have a pro webinar account in order to do this. So go to My Webinars, click on Schedule Webinar and get that bad boy scheduled. Now I have mine right here. It's called Chatbot Test One. So once you have that set up, now we have to head on over to ManyChat and create our flow. And this is gonna be the flow that people will go into to give us their contact information in order to register. Now I have already taken the liberty of typing this out so that you don't have to sit here and get bored of watching me do that. But basically what we wanna do is the question when we're getting data is going to be called a user input. It is a pro feature, so you will need a pro account in ManyChat to do this. But I've mentioned that the pro feature is worth it. There are so many amazing things that you can do. So be sure to go ahead and click on that user input. And that's what I have done here. We are gonna do a reply type email. And I said right here, let's get you registered. Please confirm your email address by clicking below or typing in an alternative. And the reason I said it like this is when you see it, and I'll show you in a little bit an example, when you see it as a user, Facebook will automatically bring in their email address below here and all they have to do is click it to confirm. And they bring that email address from whatever the user has created their Facebook account with. So I also give them the option to type in an alternative and ManyChat will capture that. Now I have here, it is an email type and I got rid of the skip. The skip is default. I would actually remove that. Make sure you remove it because you need their email address in order for them to register. And then you want to create a custom field. Anytime you are gathering data that you are going to take somewhere else into another app or another destination, you need to make sure that you're saving it as a custom field. So I just created a custom field called Zoom email and that will capture it. And then the next important step is creating a trigger zap. Let me just delete this and show you how to do that. So you're gonna go down to action. You're gonna click on trigger zap and we are going to either create or if you already have one, which I do, create the trigger zap. So when all this happens, it's going to trigger this zap and that means it's gonna send a signal over to Zapier so that all your apps can talk to each other. And really quick, let me just preview this so that you can see what I was talking about. Okay, so there's the message I sent and here's what I was talking about. It brought in my email address. I'm just gonna click that and there it is, my confirmation. Now back over to Zapier, it's time for us to tie it all together. So in Zapier, go ahead and click on the make a zap. The first step is to connect ManyChat. We are going to go to less common options and new trigger a zap event. Go ahead and connect your account. Now, what is the event? Well, the event is our Zoom event. That's the trigger that we created right here. Trigger zap. That's the event they're asking for. And we're gonna skip this step. Okay, so now the first part, the trigger is set up. So something's gonna happen but then what happens next? And that's called the action. So we need to add our action step. Now the action step will take place in Zoom. So when the trigger a zap happens, then we register in Zoom. And so we're going to create a registrant. To connect an account for the first time, just click on connect an account. This pop-up is gonna come up and you are going to need your API key 
and your secret key. I'm gonna show you where to get that. Now, I made the mistake in the beginning. I know other people have made the, this mistake by going to Zoom's API developer program and applying for a developer program and getting an API and a secret key from there, but that won't work. You can't do that. So go over to Zoom, go to My Meeting Settings, and scroll all the way down, it's a big page. And at the very bottom, we're looking for this section right here, there is my key. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you my key, and there is the secret. So in this little box that had popped up, you're gonna paste that top one, the key, right there, and you're gonna take the bottom one, the secret, put it right there, and say, yes, continue. So once you have that set up, go ahead and save and continue. All right, so now we have to start kind of pulling in the data. So the upcoming webinar that you created, what was it called? Remember, mine was called Chatbots Test One. So I went ahead and brought that in. And then the email. Now the email that I have is called Custom Fields Zoom Email. That's what I called it. So that's what we're gonna go with. So then you wanna pull in their first name. User first name was brought in by Facebook. You don't have to ask for that. Same with the last name. And then this last part says, do you want to send a confirmation email? Now, I totally think you should send these. I think it's really helpful. So go ahead and I would say yes, unless you have some other master plan that you're working with. Continue and send a test. Now, the reason it's saying that the email is empty is because no one has ever gone through this whole thing before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the test. Finish, we're gonna call this Zoom test one, and we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Okay, so at this point, if you'd like to test it, obviously, you just go back over here. We're gonna go to preview, back into here. Do I wanna confirm? Yes. Great, there's the confirmation. Now, because it's running through Zapier, it is a third party tool. It's going to take a little longer because it's not seamlessly integrated like some of the other things we've talked about, like Google Sheets and MailChimp. It's not immediate. So, if you want to see how things are working, you can either go here to view task history or you can access it through your dashboard. So, here's my task history and it says it's waiting. So there's going to be a little bit of a delay and you can certainly go back here. Now I would say come back in like 10 minutes and make sure that this is running smoothly. Maybe have a friend go through it before you launch. But I have actually done this with clients of mine and it's stellar. So check it out.